Cummins has been a powerhouse in the trucking world for decades, all thanks to their legendary diesel engines. But in a surprising twist, they've just built something completely new, a gasoline engine. It's a first for them, so the big question is, why now? And what could this mean for the future of trucking? Let's take a closer look. You see, for diesel fans, the name Cummins has been king for, well, basically forever. Since the company kicked off over a hundred years ago, diesel was their thing. It's what they built their reputation on. But now? Now Cummins just did something nobody saw coming. Just recently, they rolled out their first ever gasoline engine. Yeah, you heard that right. Gasoline. And here's where it gets even wilder. This new B6.7 octane engine? It's actually built from the bones of their legendary 6.7 liter diesel engine. Sounds kind of weird at first, but it makes a lot of sense when you break it down. See, modern diesel engines are straight up beasts. Go buy a heavy duty pickup today and you'll find engines cranking out over a thousand pound feet of torque enough to tow a house if you wanted, and somehow they still manage to pull off a decent fuel economy, hitting around 20 miles per gallon in trucks that weigh as much as a small skyscraper. But here's the catch. Diesel isn't the no-brainer it used to be. Back in the day, you bought a diesel to save money on fuel and get an engine that would probably outlive you. Now, diesel costs more than gas, and all that fancy emissions tech makes upkeep a headache. And let's not forget California and a few other states. They're coming down hard with emissions rules that make owning a diesel even trickier. That said, diesel still holds the throne in certain places. If you're talking about locomotives, construction equipment, backup generators, or those long haul semis clocking a million miles on the road, diesel is still the undisputed champ. And in heavy duty pickup trucks, it's still a force to be reckoned with. But what if there was a way to get that diesel durability and strength without the downsides? Well, if you had an engine that was tough, easy to maintain, and didn't come with all the emissions headaches of a diesel, that's exactly what Cummins is shooting for with their new B6.7 Octane. By starting off with a diesel engine and reworking it to run on gasoline, Cummins is betting they've built the perfect workhorse. And on paper, the B6.7 Octane checks all the right boxes. It sips regular 87 octane gas and could breathe new life into internal combustion engines and commercial vehicles. But here's where it gets really interesting. This engine might just be the perfect loophole around California's strict diesel rules. That means diesel-powered motorhomes, which we're looking at a rough year could get a second shot thanks to a little help from Cummins's gasoline power. It's pretty wild when you think about it. Cummins has been around since 1919 and for over a century never built a single gasoline engine for production. That's almost unheard of in the engine world. But here's the wild part. After all those years dominating diesel, they're switching things up. Believe it or not, Cummins is finally diving into gasoline engines, something no one really expected from them. You see, in 2022, Cummins decided to shake things up with their so-called fuel agnostic engine strategy. The trucking journal CCJ broke it down. This whole idea was basically a way to bridge the gap between the diesel workhorses we rely on now and the electric future that's still trying to get its act together. They knew full well that electric power wasn't ready to fully take over. So in the meantime, Cummins wanted to give fleets and truck owners more options to cut emissions and lower operating costs, whether you're running school buses, big highway haulers, or anything in between. And they weren't just thinking small. Cummins wanted this whole fuel agnostic concept to work across a range of their engines. Everything from the ones you'd find in Ram trucks to those big straight trucks and RVs. When they first rolled out the plan, they figured the first engine using this tech would be based on their B6.7 diesel, the same one you see in Ram pickups and medium duty trucks. But they had their eyes on even bigger applications too, bringing the L series and X series engines into the mix, the power plants behind serious big rigs. The vision was simple. When you order a truck with a Cummins engine, you get to pick your fuel, diesel, natural gas, hydrogen, propane, or gasoline. But let's be clear. These weren't multi-fuel engines. You pick a fuel and that's what it runs on, period. Fast forward to 2024 and Cummins decided to rebrand this whole thing as Helm, short for higher energy, lower emissions, and multiple fuels. The mission stayed the same, but now they had a fresh name to push it forward. So how does all this work? 
Well, Cummins didn't start from scratch. They took what they already had and adapted it. The key was keeping most of the engine's lower end components the same across different fuel types. In other words, the guts of a B6.7 octane engine should be pretty similar to a B6.7 diesel. Why does that matter? Because it makes life easier for fleet operators. If you're already running Cummins diesel, the gas version should be just as easy to troubleshoot and maintain. And since the B6.7 octane service intervals are supposed to be in line with diesel engines, that means big savings for operators. No need to completely overhaul their maintenance game just for a new gas engine. Now Cummins isn't spilling every little detail about what changes they've made to make the B6.7 run on gas, but they're saying most of the magic happens up top, in the cylinder head. And if there's one thing they really want you to understand, it's how important this engine is saying. The Cummins B6.7 Octane. That's Cummins' first gasoline engine, and it's designed specifically to be the most durable medium-duty gasoline engine you can find. So what exactly is this thing built for? The medium-duty truck market, plain and simple. And it's not just about meeting today's emissions rules. It's designed to handle the tough new EPA and CARB standards coming in 2027. The B6.7 Octane builds on the legacy of the B-Series platform, bringing diesel-like power and toughness, but with the simplicity of gasoline. Cummins is making a bold claim here. They say this is the only gasoline engine made specifically for the medium-duty truck market. And they're not just talking about durability, they're also claiming a 10% better fuel economy compared to the other gas engines in similar trucks. But the real game changer? Maintenance. The B6.7 Octane ditches diesel-style emission systems. No more DPFs. No more DEF. Instead, it uses passive catalysts, meaning the maintenance is more like what you would expect from a gas-powered pickup truck than a big rig. And if you're wondering how this thing actually performs, Cummins says it's built to work like a diesel. They're quoting 300 horsepower and 660 pound-feet of torque. If you know truck engines, those numbers might grab your attention. The horsepower is way lower than Ford's 7.3-liter Godzilla V8 with its 430 HP, but Cummins is playing a different game here. That torque? A solid 660 pound-feet, way more than Godzilla's 475 pound-feet. And that's intentional. Just like a diesel, this straight-six gas engine is built to deliver more torque than horsepower. Cummins has been playing around with different power levels, too. They've tested a 200 HP version with 600 pound-feet of torque, along with a 220 HP and 260 HP options, both still cranking out 600 pound-feet. As for the final numbers, eh, still up in the air. And when it comes to transmissions, Cummins is sticking with what works. They're aiming to pair with B6.7 Octane with the same transmissions used in their diesel-powered medium-duty trucks, especially the Allison 2000 and 3000 series. So, where's the engine headed? Cummins has big plans. Think pickup trucks, school buses, step vans, delivery trucks, and service vehicles. And the first big-name customer? Kenworth. They're gearing up to drop these engines into Class 5 through 7 trucks later this year. And if the early reports are right, this thing runs like a diesel. Pretty wild. Oh, and that sound? It's got that diesel vibe, but not quite. Now with that said, if there's one thing that is clear, it's that the 6.7 liter straight six gas engine might not be sticking around for too long. Even Cummins themselves have hinted that internal combustion engines could be on borrowed time. That's where the Cummins Helm platforms come in. They're a key part of the company's destination zero strategy, an ambitious push towards zero emissions. But here's the thing, they're not putting all their chips in one solution. Instead, they're tackling the problem from two angles, making internal combustion engines cleaner today while also going all in on hydrogen fuel cells, battery electric systems, and other cutting-edge tech for the future. At its core, Destination Zero operates on the idea that cutting carbon emissions is a process. Different industries and regions will move at their own pace, and Cummins has chosen a middle ground strategy. They're making internal combustion engines cleaner and more efficient in the short term while developing the technologies that will eventually replace them. 
It might sound like a radical shift, but there's historical precedent. Some might compare it to the 1970s, when General Motors adapted gas engines to run on diesel, but that's far from the only example. Kawasaki, for instance, has been working on hydrogen-powered prototypes using the same design as its gasoline H2 motorcycle engine. Even Cummins itself has seen this kind of transformation before. Back in the 1960s, the white motor company was convinced gasoline, not diesel, was the future. They took 500 cubic inch Cummins diesel engines, swapped in lower compression pistons, and replaced diesel injectors with spark plugs, creating what they called the Giesel. So technically, when Cummins says the B6.7 is their first gasoline engine, they're not wrong, because it was white, not Cummins, that originally converted them. As for where the new as for where this new engine might end up, Cummins hasn't said a word. There's talk about a 6.7 liter gas engine in a pickup, but nothing official yet. If this move plays out right, who knows where these engines might show up? But what do you think? Just pickups, or does Cummins have something bigger in the works? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and hey, while you're here, hit like and subscribe so you don't miss the next big reveal.